Hey and welcome. I'm your boy Solo. In this video, I'll be going over how to add the clip command in your Twitch chat. This command will clip the last 30 seconds of gameplay, and before I waste any more time, let's jump into it. First of all, a little disclaimer, you will need to access a third party site and connect slash authenticate your Twitch to it to get the command to work. I'll make sure to leave direct links to everything in the description below. The site is called thetriwire.com. The tire wire. The tire wire. The site we'll be using is called thetirewire.com. I'll make sure, like I said, to leave links to everything in the description below. If you are looking for more information or other things that they have, or maybe you're interest interested in reading up before you're using it, or like I said, just maybe if you want to use some other things that they provide, I'll leave links to everything in the description below, but it's thetirewire.com. And I had problems accessing the website directly like that. I had to uh, go to one of the links, like it was thetirewire.com slash login slash something else because every single time I went to the dot com it did leave me up to a blank page that looked like this. So this is what you'll get if you go directly to their website but there is a few other places you can go the tirewire.com login slash instant replay and the clip bot. This here website was a little bit tricky for me at first and that's just something to take note of. That's why I'm making sure to leave a link directly to the authentication spot to get your API working right away. Just I'll leave a direct link right to it so you don't have to go looking through all that stuff. It was pretty complicated and it took me a little while to find it. What I'm going to do first though is I'm going to go in and log into my Twitch. I just want to make sure that I'm logged into my Twitch so when it asks me to authenticate I'll be logged into my account already so that I won't run into having to do it in the middle of the process. After I do that, I'm going to click the link. This is the exact link that I'm leaving in the description below and all you'll need to do is click authenticate. It's going to redirect you to successfully authenticate it. How will you be using this? It'll give you some custom API, an instant. You can use it for custom API commands or instant replay widget. It'll give you a question mark and it'll bring you down through the stream elements nightbot uh, and Streamlabs. So this will work for every bot. This is Stream Elements bot, Nightbot, and Streamlabs bot. All you'll need to do from here is just copy paste each one. Make sure you do not share your clip code or information in here. I'm going to have this here blurred out. Yours is going to be different. All you're going to need to do is copy paste these into your commands. So from here, what we're going to do is we're going to copy the one that we're going to use. So for us, this is going to be Stream Elements. If you scroll down a little bit more, it will say the instant replay widget, which is something I think is really cool. This is stream elements only. And all you'll need to do is click on this here link to set it up and you'll have a code here. Make sure that you don't give this away. I'm gonna have this here blurred out in the video. But that's all there is for this one here. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go over to streamelements.com and log in with my Twitch. Once you're logged into stream elements with your Twitch, over on the left side menu, go to chatbot go to chat commands and here we're going to go to custom commands and add a command. Now you'll want to add the command this way and not in chat because if you put it in chat everyone or your mods anyone will be able to see the key that is given to you and the link code. You do not want to give that away so what you want to do is come in here click the add command and we're just going to go through the command. We're just going to add it like any other command. So this one here is going to say clip and then what we're going to do in the response is just paste the reply. Once we paste it in here, we're just going to activate the command. While you're in here, you might also want to change the user level to make it so that not just everyone can do it and make sure in the advance to add a cooldown of at least 15 seconds or more. I definitely suggest making a cooldown of 15 seconds or more, clicking save, and then you can exit this here page. Next time you're live, you'll be able to type in clip. It will show up when you're live. It should actually play a command. Clip uh, can't clip for an offline channel. So at least it lets me know here by telling me that it can't clip an offline channel, that at least it's working. So this is how you'll know it's working. Even if you're offline, give it a test, type it in. Make sure you give it a couple tests just to make sure that it is working. As long as it says this here, you should be good to go. There's a, a couple other things too that they do have like instant replay and the widget. You can definitely check out if you want. I might cover that in another video. So definitely let me know if you would like me to cover that in a future video. Just let me know down in the comments below and I'll definitely take a look into that as well. So now that we know this here is working, that's all there is to it. I hope that you have fun with this one here. Let me know if you enjoy it down in the description below. But that's it for this one here. If you think I forgot or left something out, definitely leave it in the comments below. And if you like or found this video helpful, hit the thumbs up and get subscribed for more content. Thanks for watching.